What do me and Hungry Man have in common? We're both hungry. We're both men, alphas. And we're both full of processed trash. <laughs> Today I am only eating Hungry Man for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you haven't heard of Hungry Man, basically it's a frozen meal. It's supposed to be able to feed a man that is extremely hungry. A man that has an appetite for dirt. <laughs> An appetite for dirt and football and, you know, finding a wife. But can it handle a man with all of this? We're gonna find out. I grew up eating Hungry Man at TV dinners. Hungry Man was like the one that gave you a little extra. We are gonna be going to Walmart to buy the meals. I just felt like Walmart would probably have the biggest selection. And I think I'm gonna go to a different Walmart for every meal because they might all have different options and I want the biggest variety to select from. And as always, we have one rule. I can eat as much Hungry Man as I want. I just can't eat anything else throughout the day. So I can get three Hungry Man meals and eat them all at once if I want to. I can get five, I can get one if I'm feeling dainty. But guess what? This man is hungry. They actually named the brand after me. I mean, I probably wasn't born yet when the brand was created, but the owner got a prophecy. He said, Timmy's take out the hungriest man in all the land. Name it after him, he's our king. And that CEO was Raven Baxter. The whole world's connected. Before we head to Walmart to gather our sustenance, Give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me in my whole career. Actually, I always say little old me. No, little big me. Big man in charge of the household. It actually does help my whole career, so thank you so much. Also subscribe if you're new here. I make food content. Let's go to Walmart. Wait, I have to find my fishing rod and my um, charcoal because I have to barbecue. It's quite the rainy day at Walmart, but it's nothing I can't handle. I've been camping in the mud with no tent. I caught a fish with my bare feet. Before we grab our fuel, I have to visit my favorite Walmart section. Home. This one's fierce. Sickening. Enough of that. This this tank needs its gas. As we all know, Hungry Man doesn't have breakfast meals. But luckily for me, I don't mind eating normal food for breakfast. It's fine. So this Walmart doesn't seem to have a lot of Hungry Man options, to be honest. I think they have like five. They have classic fried chicken, boneless fried chicken. We have a roasted carved white meat turkey. And then we have a smoking backyard barbecue and meatloaf. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a dainty breakfast and I'm gonna get two of them. So let's get boneless fried chicken. It has fried chicken, a mashed potato, corn and a brownie we love dessert and then I think I'm gonna do the roasted carved white meat turkey why not Thanksgiving in March or was, no March March <laughs> this has white meat turkey mashed potatoes gravy mixed vegetables seasoned stuffing and cranberry apple dessert okay let's go home and have breakfast we're home, it's almost 10 a.m. I'm so hungry. And that was not a pun. I, I know I've been making a lot of puns the whole video. Well, guess what, that wasn't one. Don't judge a hungry man by his cover. We're gonna first cook the boneless fried chicken. This is how it looks. <laughs> we have the two organic, unprocessed chicken patties, mashed potatoes underneath, corn, and the brownie. How do I cook this? Remove, remove film from brownie, brownie vent, vent film, film over, over chicken, chicken, cook for four, and a, four and a half minutes, minutes. Carefully, carefully remove, remove brownie, brownie with a fork, fork set aside, aside stir potatoes, potatoes and rearrange chicken, chicken recover, cook, cook an additional three, three and a half and minutes. Half. My goodness, this is a culinary class. So in four and a half minutes, the brownie will be done. Let's take a look at the roasted carved white meat turkey. It's giving thanks, it's giving giving. Oh, so it looks like lunch meat and gravy. I haven't had this one since maybe like 2005. I'm not even joking, like 20 years basically. And that's just an estimation. I don't keep track of when I ate my last turkey hungry man. <laughs> There's some stuffing mashed potatoes, vegetable medley. Why is vegetable medley called vegetable medley? Like are the vegetables dancing? Is this ABBA vegetable version? And then the cranberry apple thingy. Remove film from dessert once again. Okay, it's like the same steps. Oh, <gasps> there's corns frozen into the dessert. I don't think you belong here. So the brownie's done. It actually smells really good, better than I remember. I have to take it out of the container. Come here. Oh, wow. Almost in one whole piece. Oh, is that another sneaky little corn? I think we had to mix the corn a little bit. Get in there. Get out of here, Colonel. Colonel Mustard. Move these over so I can mix the tights. Okay, let's put this back in for a few more minutes. Okay, this is officially done. It's looking very pale. Like who? Beth from Little Women. <laughs> 
Okay, now we have to cook the turkey one. Time to mix the gobbler. Ooh. This, this is next level. This is giving Edward Cullen's elbow. It hasn't seen the sun in 200 years. So we just gotta mix the potato. Get out of here! I'm trying to mix the potatoes. <laughs> Wait your turn. Flip over the flaps. Okay, this is officially done. Okay. Let's first try the mashed potatoes. In the words of the Idahoans, potatoes always come first, even before family. Oh! I expected absolute garbage, and these aren't. Am I enjoying them? Am I the villain? I think that my banquet and Michelina taste tests really made me scared of frozen potatoes, but these ones are truly a lot better. Mmm. Do they taste fake and processed? Yes. But are they salty? Yes. Do they taste buttery? Yes, they do. The texture is actually quite creamy. They're not watery at all. As far as frozen mashed potatoes go, these ones are, oh my microphone, I forgot my mic. Give me a second, girlies. In case if you haven't met her, this is my little furry friend, Aslan. She relocated from Narnia just to be in my videos. Attention, Zigger. <laughs> is that better or what? I'm gonna give the mashed potatoes for frozen mashed potatoes a nice strong eight out of 10. Let's try the corn. Oh. Oh. These little kernels are kind of special. They're well salted. They have a very naturally sweet flavor. They're crispy in a fresh way. It's good corn. If I got this at a restaurant, I would say that is fresh off the cob. Like surprisingly good. The corn is a 10 out of 10. Mm. It's time for the chicken, which does have a layer of mashed potatoes on the bottom. Let me try to scrape it off. Yeah, that's not coming off. I think it's fused. Let's try it. Mm. Oh! What? Wow! This is the texture. That is surprisingly good. <laughs> What is going on today? Am I a hungry man, Stan? The texture honestly just served any fast food nugget, like McDonald's uh, chicken nugget, Wendy's chicken nugget. It's like that same type of foamy texture, but it's not foamy in a gross way. It's just foamy in a chicken nugget way. Like it's not a big deal. What I really loved about this massive chicken patty <laughs> was the flavor. It tastes like a really well salted chicken nugget. Now, is it as crispy as a chicken nugget? No, because it is microwaved, but it is truly serving fast food nuggets. So if you like fast food nuggets, I think you will love this massive nugget. This is like the Godzilla of nuggets. And there actually is a slight fried chicken flavor. In the breading, it has that same saltiness. I'm gonna give Hungry Man's boneless fried chicken for frozen chicken, a nine out of 10. Okay, now this is the brownie. See, that's where a little bit of sinisterness, a little bit of dark sidedness gets into the household. This is not great, at least compared to the rest of the meal. The brownie itself tastes microwaved, and I know that it is, but you know, <laughs> it just doesn't taste like a normal brownie. Like you can taste the microwave frequencies. How does the microwave work? I don't know, but it's like something with like rays, right? You can taste the rays. It's not burnt, but it has a burnt flavor to it, and it has a very stale texture. It's not chewy, it's stale. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. It's not rich whatsoever. It just tastes kind of empty. I'm gonna give the brownie a four out of 10. It's not disgusting, but it's not good either. Next meal, let's try the mashed potatoes, but with the gravy this time. Oh, the mashed potatoes go great with gravy. By the way, if I have leftovers, I'm gonna save them. So don't worry about that. The potatoes once again, taste great. The gravy itself kind of reminds me of 
like a frozen chicken pot pie, like the sauce within that, but with a little more of a turkey flavor. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna give the gravy a nice strong seven out of 10. Very cute. Let's try the stuffing. Mm. I got the shivers on my face. Oh my God. No, get out of here. The stuffing tastes so chickeny that it almost tastes like tuna. Do you know what I'm talking about? When like something has such a strong poultry flavor that it almost serves like Oceanic Express. That's what this is giving and I, I can't. Also the texture is not it. There are some stuffing pieces that got super hard because of the microwave, like hard, like in a stale way. And then other pieces are total mush. And that makes each bite unpredictable and it makes me feel unsafe. I'm gonna give the stuffing a one out of 10. <gasps> Let's try the turkey. We have a whole flap here. Let's just devour it. Protein. Oscar, Oscar Mayer, is that you in there? You know, it's not gross, but the more that I chewed it, the more I thought about what it tasted like. And that just kind of grossed me out. It tastes like those Oscar Mayer ultra processed, like circular turkey slices. Tastes just like that. Texture wise, it had that sort of like gelatinous bounciness that those uh, turkey slices have. I would not eat more of that. Even if someone said, Timmy, will you please eat more of this? I, I cooked it. I would say no Oscar. I can't do it. I'm gonna give the turkey slices a two out of 10. Let's try the little vegetable dancing medley. The corn still tastes great. The carrots are a bit overcooked. They're a bit mushy. The green beans could be crispier. They're a bit mushy as well. I'm gonna give the vegetable medley a five out of 10. Let's try this cranberry apple dessert. This is what it looks like up close. Mmm, yeah. I really like the flavor. I think that the flavor doesn't really taste like cranberries. It tastes like cherry pie filling, and I love cherry pie filling. Just like a good old can of it, you know? I could eat the whole thing. So it's great flavor, texture, not so much. I don't like the apple pieces because they're way too mushy, just like the carrots and the green beans. So I'm gonna give the cranberry dessert. Let's do some ASMR. Oh, a five out of 10, Carly. I am looking forward to see what lunch has to offer. We're gonna go to a different Walmart and hopefully find some different options. I did not find any other option. <laughs> this Walmart had like the exact same meals, including the boneless fried chicken. Fried chicken? Wait, what else? Hurry up, Timmy. Pan the camera, girl. Homestyle meatloaf. Salisbury steak. Roasted carved turkey. So I was like, okay, I'll just get two that I haven't had, even if the sides are basically the same. So I got the meatloaf and I got the bone-in fried chicken. I truly remember Hungry Man having a lot more options than just these meals. I remember like an enchilada one, a beer battered chicken tender one with like cheese fries, but both Walmarts had the exact same options. Okay, so here's the fried chicken. This is how it looks. So I'm seeing mostly dark meat. Let's see how the meatloaf looks. Now you guys know meatloaf is a very polarizing dish. Can we call it a dish? Is it a form of bread? Meatloaf is either disgusting or it's amazing. And there's no in between, it's either or. Let's see how this one is. The meatloaf itself looks pretty cute, frozen to the core of the loaf. And once again, we have the same sides. So I'm just gonna cook all this up. I'm gonna take the brownie out, but guys, the pollo is odoring and I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't look like much though. Like, what is that? It looks like last of us mold, but I'm getting kind of excited about this meal. Now it's the meatloaf's turn. The meatloaf is halfway done and it's starting to look like it took a two week all expense paid trip to Ria town. Remove the brownie like always. Let me mix this a little bit. I'm gonna flip these as well. Oh, I'm gonna eat the brownie as I wait. Mmm. <laughs> this brownie tastes better than the other one. Tastes different. The meatloaf is officially done. Okay, let's eat some more mashed potatoes. Of course, I'm not gonna rate the items that I've already had today. I'm just gonna enjoy them because I have to eat. 
You know, I'm not mad. Am I tired of the flavor? Yes, but they still taste good. And the corn, come on corn, I missed you. Let's try a piece of fried chicken. Whatever part of the chicken this is. What is this, the gobbler? The feather? Let's see how the texture is on the inside. Oh, hello. Hello, Whole Foods. Hello, organic. It does look cooked, I will say that. The breading seems to be quite thick and almost doughy. So let's try it. That's a lot of meat. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, this one looks very nice. Yes. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say nice. It's not that pretty, but it looks edible. Mm. 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 The main pieces of fried chicken are quite delicious. Mm. Listen, when you hear frozen bone in fried chicken, you expect true evil. You expect disaster, but this is genuinely delicious. Now, I wouldn't compare it to restaurant fried chicken or fresh fried chicken, but in terms of frozen chicken, it's very good. The chicken on the inside does feel real, even though I feel like the cuts of it are very odd. It felt like I was eating like half a thigh, a little chunk of like white meat. It was weird. It was very juicy and the chicken on, on the inside was salty. So we love that. Now the breading texture wise, um, just like with the boneless fried chicken is quite soft and soggy. It's not crispy whatsoever, but once again, it has a really good flavor. It's salty. It has a fried chicken flavor. And I do think that it's genuinely enjoyable. So good for you, bird. Wow, fly, fly. I'm gonna give the bone-in fried chicken a nice strong eight out of 10. Oh, what is going on? I think the hungry man might make some good meats, but I don't want to speak too soon because I'm about to try the meatloaf and it could be truly sinister. This could be insidious part 10. So this is the texture of the meatloaf on the inside. It is in a meatloafy gravy. Ooh, kind of my nose, not the nose loaf. It smells like a dehydrated onion, not a normal onion, an onion that has been dried up from every drop of water that it had. I'm frozen, just like this meal. I'm gonna force myself to take another bite. We don't wanna waste. You got this! You got this! It's down. So you know what's funny? The flavor didn't bother me. The flavor really kind of tastes like a Salisbury steak meets a frozen meatball. And it didn't taste too beefy, so that's good news. We don't ever want to taste like full cow, but the texture is really what got me. It doesn't have the texture of a meatloaf, a Salisbury steak, anything like that. It has more so the texture of Jello meets cheesecake, but like beef's version. Kind of like Taylor's version, but like beef. It was really hard to chew, like not physically, like it wasn't chewy, but it was just hard, hard to mentally, like every part of my brain was fighting it. It was like, girl, this is not natural. This is not normal. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Beep bop boop. Cause I'm part robot. But I pushed through and I ate it. So I'm gonna give the meatloaf a two out of 10. So I'm gonna keep eating my mashed potatoes and corn until I get full and I will see you guys for dinner. Hopefully we find different options. So I'm at the third Walmart location and guys, I'm shook at right now. This Walmart has a Wendy's guys. Oh my God. I've seen Subways at Walmarts. I've seen Miss Auntie Ann, but I've never seen the redheaded queen herself, Wendy at a Walmart. Good to know she's just like us. Okay guys, so we got the fried chicken I had, the boneless fried chicken I had, the turkey I had, and then the Samoan backyard barbecue. This is the only one I haven't had. 
Are you kidding? So it's a barbecue chicken patty and a pork patty and barbecue sauce. I need more food than this, I'm hungry. So I got the barbecue feast and that's all I got. I am gonna stop at Publix on the way home just to see if they have any options that I haven't had yet. <sighs> hungry men, if you have all these flavors, why are they not in stores? Tell me that. Are you scared to be too good? Are you scared of the success? Come on, Mother Publix. Please have an option for me. Feed me. Well, guys, it's all the same stuff, but I haven't had the Salisbury steak yet. So I guess that's what we're having with the smoking barbecue. <laughs> mm, I'm so excited. I'm home with the meat fest. So this is how the Salisbury steak looks. Groundbreaking. I've never seen anything like this, at least not today. Hopefully it tastes better than that meatloaf, girly. That jello blob. Ugh, I forgot to turn on the mic, one second. This always happens to me. Is that better? And this is the smoking backyard barbecue. Oh, wow. It's giving McRib's little sister McBlob. And then the gorgeous grilled chicken is underneath and there's corn everywhere. I'm tired of seeing the corn everywhere. I'm gonna see it a lot tomorrow morning, that's for sure. By the way, side note, I feel fine in terms of my belly. I don't feel greasy. I had fried chicken for breakfast fried chicken for lunch, and I'm feeling good. That just proves I'm man enough to handle all of this. But is this man enough to handle all of me? We'll never know. The farm party is halfway done. That is pretending to be a bone. Do you see it? Fake bones. Have the self-confidence to be yourself. Be like her. Is this even real? I don't think it's real either. And what is that? Is that brownie? <laughs> Not the brownie baked onto the pollo. Oh my gosh, it looks like a face. Look, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Okay guys, dinner is served. And yes, I did eat both brownies already. <laughs> I'm kind of full, but um, let's eat these new meats. Am I craving any of this? No, no, no. Am I grateful? Yes. Has this challenge been a success even though I couldn't find variety? Yes, it has, because I did it. So we're gonna be positive about this. I don't wanna see comments saying, Timmy, you ate mashed potatoes for all three meals? Yes, I did. What are you gonna do about it? No Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> let's first try the rib. Let's just, let's just go for it, girlies. Focus. That's, focus. That's the texture on the inside. Looks so real. Hmm, I expected worse. I really did. That's not disgusting. I think the texture is actually quite nice. It has the texture of a burger patty. So it doesn't bother me. It's not mushy, it's not jello-y. It's good, but I'm not a big fan of the flavor because it doesn't taste like pork. Like, for example, when you eat the McRib, obviously it's like very processed pork, but it does have a pork flavor in the background. This has no pork flavor. Instead, it just tastes like fake smoke flavoring. It's giving, you know, burnt Christmas tree. It's giving burnt oak. And I do not like that fake smokiness. I think it's very easy to tell when it's fake smokiness and real smokiness, you get me? Even you amateurs could tell the difference probably. It does also have a strong ham flavor. It tastes almost like lunch meat ham, which is interesting. The barbecue sauce is very tomato-y. It's probably the most tomato-y barbecue sauce I've ever had. It's not bad, it's just kind of giving ketchup. So I think I'm gonna give the pork a nice five out of 10. I don't think it's good, but I don't think it's bad. Let's try this grilled barbecue chicken. Let's see how the texture is. So it's shaped like an actual piece of chicken filet, but the texture on the inside is obviously serving mattress topper, right? Oh wow, who would have thought that I would prefer that pork fake rib over this chicken? This chicken is horrible. horrible. It tastes like someone took a can 
of like canned chicken, you know? And then they just like molded it into a patty and then they cooked it. It doesn't taste like there's any extra seasoning. The texture's really rubbery, really tough. It just honestly tastes like a big disc of chewy oxygen. It tastes like nothing. And the texture is horrible. It really, that was sinister. This dark sided. Also the barbecue sauce tasted very different on this compared to the pork rib, whatever. It tasted even more tomatoey, really just like prego with a little bit of extra smokiness. Like, so it almost served like Italian oxygen blob. Italian oxygen, that's the flavor profile. Huh? Are you laughing? Am I funny? I'm gonna give Giada De Laurentiis's nightmare a one out of 10. Horrible. By the way, guys, I don't think I can bring myself to eat more mashed potatoes and corn, so I'm just gonna save it. And if I'm hungry tonight, I'm hungry tonight. I, I actually can't do it. Last item of the day, salsa stick. The gravy itself looks extremely gelatinous, which is very interesting. Focus! Thank you. See that? Regina, you okay? She's gagging for me. <laughs> I think she's okay. I think she like ate a hair or like a dust bunny. She'll eat anything, <laughs> just like her mother. This Salisbury steak is actually not bad. Definitely a lot better than the meatloaf. It tastes like one of those gas station burger patties. Remember those? Like exactly in a beefy flavored gelatinous gravy. Uh, the gravy really doesn't have a strong flavor. It's just beefy, but the patty itself is not bad. Mm. And the texture, is like any old burger patty too. So that's good. I'm here for it. We ended on a decent note. I'm gonna give the Salisbury steak a nice seven out of 10 for a frozen steak, you know? <laughs> Anyways guys, future editing to me, averaged together all of the meal scores and this is the final score. I'm gonna put it in the center so the little video things aren't blocking it. <laughs> like they have been, I'm sorry about that. Yes, I did see your comments. So what do we think? I had a fun day, a tiring day, but overall I'm grateful to even be making this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, have you had Hungry Man Meals? If you have, which one's your favorite? Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Bye guys. Mwah. Oh.